everyone, it's me. This week we are going to be trying the most viral current booty workouts. And we will be doing the ranking as usual of all of them at the end of the week. So I will suffer through seven booty workouts just for this YouTube video. You guys know how much I hate booty. Okay, so we have opened our incognito window as usual. And I'm going to search booty workout. Booty. All right, Pamela is just, she always appears on the tops of these things. Okay, so the first one we are going to be trying is 20 minute booty workout. <laughs> why, do I, why do I say it like that? Booty, booty. 20 minute booty workout. Pamela is just always trending. The second one is Get Fit by Ivana, 10 best exercises to start growing your booty. Okay, number three. We're gonna skip all these other Pamela ones since we have the most viral one. Number three will be from Pop Sugar Fitness, 10 minute booty shaping workout. Pamela, Pamela, more Pamela. The fourth one we will be trying is Booty Pump Workout, 10 minute booty burn. Hourglass program by the Chloe Ting. The fifth one we will be doing is 10 minute resistance band booty by Mad Fit. The sixth will be Heather Robertson, the best at home booty workout. No equipment. And who's it gonna be? I see more Mad Fit, I see more Chloe. Oh, here's another one Tammy Hembro. Oh, is this a follow-along workout though? Only follow-alongs allowed. I don't think this is a follow-along, so we can't do that one. Skip Tammy Hembro, sorry Tammy. Bailey Brown, okay. Definitely looks like a follow-along workout. Five minutes. You know what, I feel like we can add an eighth this week. Cause the next one here I see is Lily Sabri. And I know you guys love when I do Lily Sabri workouts. And since that last one was only five minutes, I feel like we could combine those two in one day. What do you think? Um, yeah, okay. We'll torture myself and do a double day. There you have it. This week we'll be doing workouts from Pamela Reif, Get Fit by Ivana, Pop Sugar Fitness, Chloe Ting, Mad Fit, Heather Robertson, Bailey Brown, and Lily Sabri. I think that is a pretty good lineup. So let's get it started. The battle of the booty. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's get started with Pamela's workout. Hard stuff, you guys. One sec, I need some water. Okay, so yeah, that was a 20 minute booty workout. It followed her usual format that she still does, the 30 seconds each exercise, continuously rotating. There was one, like, probably 30 second break in the middle, so after the first 10 minutes, there was one break. Other than that, no breaks at all, classic Pam style. For intensity, I'm going to give this workout a 9.5. I know we're starting out high, but I just, I know this one's so, so hard. <laughs> and then for personal enjoyment, I mean, <laughs> Okay, so you guys know I hate booty, so I'm gonna try and not factor that into my personal enjoyment rating. But I think I'm going to give this one a 7.5 for personal enjoyment. Overall, it's a really solid workout, easy to follow, works your booty really well. I just think that, I mean, this is one of her older videos, but I feel like in this workout, there were a lot of just like generic exercises that kept getting repeated. And I know going back to the basics, going back to those regular exercises always works. That's why they're regular exercises. It's because they work. But just for personal preference, I do like when the exercises are a little more creative or if there's more of like a sequence to them. And I know she does have a lot of better booty workouts nowadays, like I have done them and they're more creative and just like, I like them better, but this was the one that was trending right now. But I will talk to you when I try the next one. So today we are going to try the workout from Get Fit by Ivana. This is a 12 minute no equipment workout. So let's go.
just finished that workout. It was definitely a workout geared towards beginners. I think it was a great workout for if you're just starting to work out and just getting into it. So for intensity level, I'm going to give it a seven. It definitely wasn't like higher intensity or anything, but yeah, I think it would have been a great workout for beginners. And then for enjoyment on this one, I think I'm going to give it an eight. I thought the structure of it was pretty good. The active sets were anywhere between 30 seconds to one minute long. And then there were like 10 seconds, I believe, 10 second breaks in between each exercise. The ads were very, very, very well placed right like at the end of each set before you're about to take a break so perfect on the ad placement for this one and Ivana has like <laughs> she has like the cutest little voice she has like a little accent and she gives you like form tips and sort of guides you along through the workout as like a voiceover and like she just has like the cutest voice so it just like made me smile <laughs> when I was doing the workout so yeah that is it for today I will see you tomorrow when I do the next one okay today's workout is called 10 minute booty shaping workout by Pop Sugar Fitness. I'm surprised I'm not sore yet. Like, I really infrequently work out my booty. So, yeah, I'm surprised I'm not sore. I guess it's a good thing, stronger than I think. Let's get started. Start with the outside leg, push it up and down. Up and down. that one. Oh, my eyes look so red. Sorry that my eyes look so red. I just was working all day, so <laughs> that's probably why. That was very surprisingly enjoyable for me. And that's coming from someone who doesn't like working my booty. So for intensity on this one, I'm going to give it an 8.5. They really focused on like really, really burning out like one side of the glute and then burning out the second side of the glute. It wasn't really like time-based, like it wasn't like 30 seconds per exercise. I feel like she was more just counting like 10 reps. And then on top of that, they also included a few stretches during the workout and then also a few at the end of the workout, which I really appreciate. So for enjoyment on this one, I'm going to give it a nine, which is a very high score for me to give for a booty workout. I actually really like this one. And there were zero squats. A booty workout with zero squats. I have a thing against squats. I just don't like doing them. So the fact that there were no squats in this one, gets an A from me. All right, you guys, it is Chloe Ting day today. So I'm ready to get my butt kicked. So lie on your mat and let's kick off with some single leg glute bridge. So I just finished that one. It was a 10 minute workout. The structure of it was 30 seconds on and five seconds off. For intensity, I'm going to give it an eight. It wasn't the most intense workout that I've done by Chloe. When I saw I was going to be doing a Chloe workout today, I was so fully prepared to just like die. But surprisingly, the intensity wasn't as high as the other videos from her I've done. For personal preference, I actually really enjoyed this. I'm going to give it a 9.5. I feel like the structure with the 30 seconds on and five seconds off was like kind of the perfect structure. I feel like when there are no breaks in between and you have to like really change positions to get into the next exercise, it kind of takes away from that like 30 second set. The only thing I maybe didn't like so much was the music was giving me kind of like a heart attack, but that's it for today. See you tomorrow. All right guys, today we are doing a 10 minute resistance band booty workout by MadFit. So let's go. All right guys, our first exercise, our bands are on. We're gonna start, you're gonna come to one end of your mat. You're going to take a side step, so squat. Okay, 
So that one was in the structure of a regular MadFit workout. So it was 10 minutes and it was 45 seconds on, 15 seconds rest between each exercise. Every single exercise did use the resistance band. Although I guess if you don't have a resistance band, you can do the same exercises without it. You just might not feel the same type of intensity. And then speaking of intensity for this one, I'm going to give it an 8.5. I feel like any booty workout that uses a resistance band is going to have a fair amount of intensity. It just automatically, you know, levels up the intensity and for enjoyment. I'm going to give this one a nine. I like how it was continuously rotating. There were no ads that disrupted through the middle. And as always, Madfit's exercises are so creative. She just puts all these different movements together that usually people don't do. And I feel like I actually enjoy working my booty with a resistance band better. It forces you to really actually use your booty rather than getting into your thighs and cheating that way. I really enjoyed it for a booty workout, especially. <laughs> See you guys tomorrow. Hey you guys, today is Heather Robertson day. It looks like this video is like 20 minutes long roughly, so we're in for another long one. <laughs> I'll talk to you guys after. All right, guys, you want to have those feet firmly planted on the ground. Okay, wow, I'm very surprised by that workout in a few different ways. So first of all, let's talk about intensity. I'm going to rate this one a 9.7 for intensity, which yes, has been the highest intensity rating for a workout I have given so far this week. The reason I'm giving it a 9.7 is because it was just like so intense, not in an aggressive way, if that makes sense. I feel like Heather Robertson's workouts are very similar to Madfit's workouts, where it's not like a pow, 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 punch you in the face kind of intensity. It's a slow burner, but it really, really, really gets you. She did a lot of emphasis on like one side of the booty and then the other side of the booty, like after that side was already dying, which I think also increases the intensity level. Like if you're constantly shifting on each exercise from left to right, left to right, taking turns, the intensity never gets as high. For personal preference, I am actually going to give this one a 10, which is very surprising for me because the only workout I've done by Heather Robertson before is a HIIT workout in my very very first like I tried seven viral HIIT workout videos and I didn't really like her HIIT workout but this booty workout was very different from her HIIT workout I feel like yeah I feel like it was just so well balanced well rounded I clearly have to try more Heather Robertson workouts because I've only done one HIIT workout and now one booty workout but I want to try more. So today is the last day for this video, so I'm going to be doing my double day today. So first of all, we're going to start with the five minute booty workout from Bailey Brown, and then we're going to move on to the 10 minute from Lily Sabri. I'm just going to do them one right after the other, just because five minutes is really short. So it'll be 15 minutes total, then I'll talk to you after. Pull those abs in and start lifting your left leg up and down. Okay, just finished those two. So I'm just going to talk about the Bailey Brown one first. It was a five minute workout, so it was super short, but it was very effective. So she spent two and a half minutes on each side, which I think is a really good use of five minutes. So for intensity, I'm going to give her a nine for this workout. I feel like with the five minutes, she did a lot. <laughs> with the five minutes, you know, the intensity was pretty much as high as I would expect but it is a five minute workout, so it's still not going to be as effective as 10 minutes. I think it is a good one to do if you really, really don't have time, but I feel like chances are, if you have time for a five minute booty workout, you'll probably have time for a 10 minute booty workout, just like in the time it takes for you to like change into workout clothes and get yourself set up and stuff. Like, I feel like you could probably just do the extra five minutes, but overall I feel like it was it was pretty good, nothing to complain about. For personal preference for the Bailey Brown workout, I'm also going to give it a nine. There was nothing really like wrong with it. 
<laughs> nothing to complain about. It was fun to do. It was a good five minute workout. <laughs> Moving on to the Lily Savory workout. So it was a 10 minute workout that I did and then the structure of it was 45 seconds on, 15 seconds break in between. This workout did require a resistance band, although you could do all the exercises without one, it just wouldn't be as intense. Speaking of intensity, I'm going to give this one a 9.9, .9, which is the highest I've ever given so far. It was basically really, really hard, like all Lily Sabre workouts. And then for enjoyment, I'm going to give it an 8.5. It was a good workout, I think. While the 45 seconds on, 15 seconds off, like really, really got me in the glutes, I feel like I just prefer personally the 30 second sets. That is it for my two ratings today. And I will get all my rankings ready so we can go through those. All right, are you guys ready for the rankings? So before I get into these rankings, I just wanna say, I actually enjoyed all of these workouts. I feel like this batch of workouts has been the batch so far that I've done on YouTube that I actually like liked all of them, which is very strange because this was booty week. So I just like thought that I would hate all of them, but I actually enjoyed these ones. I think we got like a really good batch this time. Anyways, starting with the intensity ranking, in eighth place for this batch was Get Fit by Ivana. In the seventh is Chloe Ting, fifth and sixth are Pop Sugar with an 8.5 and Mad Fit also 8.5. Fourth is Bailey Brown. Third is Pamela Reif. In second is Heather Robertson. And in first for intensity is Lily Sabri with a 9.9. .9. Moving on to the enjoyment or personal preference ranking. Eighth place was Pamela Reif. Seventh is Get Fit by Ivana with an eight. In seventh is Lily Sabri. In third, fourth, and fifth <laughs> is Bailey Brown, Pop Sugar, and Mad Fit, all with nines. In second place is Chloe Tang with a 9.5. And then first place for enjoyment is Heather Robertson with a 10. And now for the overall rankings. Again, these were all really good, so. In eighth place for overall is Get Fit by Ivana with a 15 out of 20. In seventh place is Pamela Reif with a 17. I think that's the lowest a Pamela workout has ever been rated on my channel. <laughs> Again, this is a really tough batch. In fourth, fifth, and sixth place, another three-way tie is Pop Sugar, Chloe Ting, and Mad Fit with a 17.5. Third is Bailey Brown with an 18. Second is Lily Sabre with an 18.4. And then in first place is Heather Robertson with a 19.7 out of 20. Yeah, so that is my overall ranking for these booty workouts that I tried this week. I was very pleasantly surprised at a lot of these workouts. I'm also surprised at how few squats I had to do this week. That is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please give me a like and a comment if you did. Subscribe, do that bell thing, and I will see you in the next one.